Okay. Like, uh... No, 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 I was, I was trying to kill an Enderman. Hey, everybody. The Walkthrough King here. With one of Weasdom, the only other person that ever signs online logics. Hey, you know, <sighs> when you've got great people, it's... You don't need strength in numbers. You know? Yeah, I mean... No one else ever signs on, it's just Well, eventually me. we'll get some, like, we've tried really hard to get zombie villagers back. And, uh, yeah. kind of have. But once I, we I repopulate, guess, we'll have kind of friends. I guess we should just go to the, uh, uh the cabin and again. Blow the village up for our imagined Yeah, friends. let's just go back to the cabin. Same old stuff. Yeah. <sighs> Do you like the gravel really path, would... or should we get rid of it? Uh, it's pretty cool. Did you cool put a birch sapling there, dude? I really wish someone go. else. I really wish someone else like was on the server. Well, like, like I said, we'll repopulate. Uh, we'll some take... some dreams don't come true. Let's just walk in. Oh, what? 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 Why it's Omnex Triple Zero and Julia Morgan O Four Two Nine? What are they doing here? In our home sweet store and home of all you, places. Obviously. <laughs> so that's why he went through the uh, forest to get eggs. <laughs> all right, but yeah, guys, this is uh, Mind Logic's history. Uh, conveniently, Omnex and Julia were the first two people to actually apply to join the server, which means they watched the videos before we told people you could even join because we slyly had it listed. Uh, and so it's taken a long time. We thought we had it set up. We had to whitelist. We had to get the voice chat set up and then we found out today that we didn't have the voice chat set up for multiple people uh, I had a headset die on me, we had a lot of things but hey everyone is here now and uh, no one has died so that's what matters. What do you mean no one has died? Omenix died twice. Yeah, he yeah, died, died twice. twice. Oh, right, well, no, <laughs> no one's currently dead that's living well, in the cave. I fought so. in the middle of a zombie apocalypse <laughs> when I first joined. Was it a spawner by then? We have a couple of other people, but these are the only two people that can make it today. Yeah, yeah so uh, yeah. we will do the plan here. We want to do solo yeah, I had introductions. To wake up. I had to wake up at 7 a.m. on a Sunday to get here. Yeah, we've, we should <laughs> mention, if you can't tell, Almanex is from Australia. And so while it is 5, 8, 5 p.m. in Texas, it's, uh, he had to get up at 7 in the morning. So we kind <laughs> it of is feel 5 o'clock in Alabama as well. Nice, and Julia is from Alabama, so she's on Central Standard Time, so she kind of has the same schedule as we do. But the cool thing mm -hmm. about having Aussies on board is if people are ever looking for content or wondering what's going on, or just even myself, Julia, and the Walkthrough King, uh, we go to bed, we come back on the next night, Almanex may have built something cool, he might have griefed your place with pansies, who knows what might happen. <laughs> but uh, that's sort of the goal, is just to have people that want to be on have a good time. Uh, we're going to do standalone introductions, sort of like once they get settled in and have like their first living quarters. But uh, for now, I guess technically Julia was the first person on the server. Uh, so she would be person number three. We're going to get her a good skin. Uh, she is not Steve. <laughs> and then uh, Almanex, while he was the third person, uh, technically he was fourth on the server, but he was the first to apply. And then Julia was right behind him, so they kind of swapped places there. But uh, we will go in order of application. So Almanex, if you want to just like give us a quick rundown on yourself here. Nothing fancy, just... Kind of who you are, okay. what you do, what you like about Minecraft, etc. How does well, chicken I've think? been <laughs> I've been playing Minecraft for ages, really. Right. Um, probably back in year, probably 2010 or 11, I think, is when it was really popular. And my cousin first showed showed it to me, and I thought, well, this is really cool. I can build all sorts of cool stuff. Right. And that was fun. And then, you know, they've added all sorts of new things to Minecraft over time, and I've enjoyed playing, you know, survival and things like that. And it looks like you are and a zombie I'm magnet punching, as well. Now I'm punching a zombie instead of using my sword. Yeah. That's the obvious. That's the obvious thing to do. All right. And what part of Australia do you live in? You don't have to like give away your location, but. Oh, well, I live near Sydney, which is the east coast. Cool deal. 
All right, so that's a quick rundown. Again, once they're kind of settled in, he's got a base or something cool to showcase. We'll sort of do something in-depth. We'll have their links down below when applicable. But uh, now up on the rooftop with me is Julia. She is from Alabama. She's on Central Standard Time because it's the best time zone, even though we don't get official New Year's countdowns like the other ones. Uh, so, Julia, tell us a little about it yourself and uh, what you like about Minecraft. Well, my name is Julia. I, um, well, I live in the most boring town in Alabama, to be completely honest. <laughs> and um, we have, like, nothing here except for, like, a fa few fast food places and a Walmart. That is basically all we have here. Stereotypical uh -oh. small town in the south, I suppose. <laughs> well, it's northern Alabama, but it's south. It's, right. Yeah, you know it's, what I mean? You're in Dixie. It's, yeah. it's good. Uh, now Nigel is stuck in the well with a horse. With a hole. I will let the walkthrough king handle that so we can continue. That's my horse. Get out of here, Tony. Uh, so, Julia, Why do you, you have a... Your horse? <laughs> do you have a Dairy Queen? Why did you jump in the well with me? Are you asking me? Because I want to yes. my horse. Yes, yeah, oh. so we we actually have a... Uh, well, there oh, actually hi, Dairy I didn't Queen. know you were there. We're building a <laughs> Dairy Queen. We used to have one, like, in 2011. Right. But then they decided to build it again. But we have something that's sort of like that already. But it's, like, right across the street. They're building it. <laughs> Well, if it makes you feel better, our s small town lost our Dairy Queen like a decade ago, and it's not come back. So, uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, so I don't what even do you... know what a Dairy Queen is because we. Oh, uh, it's, it's like yet. the Texas stop sign, but that's what they say here. I've always wondered how they market themselves in other states. It's just like a uh, burger. But the one that we food. have, it is actually called a Dairy Delight instead of Dairy ah, Queen. Right, so it's just a blatant ripoff. <laughs> yeah, it's it like was Mississippi fried basically, chicken or something. <laughs> basically, the owners didn't want to pay for the franchising costs. Ah, there you go. Classic issues. Uh, so tell us what you like about Minecraft. Well, I haven't been playing it that much. I really just started to spend time with my boyfriend because he, him and his little brother love playing it. Right. And right. so I just sort of started playing and then I realized I sort of liked it. <laughs> and basically what I do is I mine down and make cobblestone, uh, or bedrock, uh, halls like you do. Ah, so we have that in common. <laughs> yeah. And like on the Xbox, uh, my Xbox version, it's like huge, massive. <laughs> right. Version of it. <laughs> yeah, I need to actually, uh, I mentioned it a little bit ago, but the hall of bedrock I have in this mine... It has yet to generate a single slime, and that is concerning to me. And we can't find a swamp, so now that we have more people on, maybe we will get lucky with that. But uh... I believe slimes can only spawn in a full moon, or is that the one they can't spawn? I don't know if it's new moon or full moon, but I know I I've never seen moon. one. I kind of thought it was new, too. But it's weird, because this whole time we've been on the server, we have never killed a single slime. And that, that is weird, because they're not that rare. But apparently they don't exist here. So, uh, yeah, the only other thing, again, uh, once Julia and Nigel kind of have a base built or something, we'll sort of like do an in-depth intro for them. But the only other thing I can think that will be of importance to y'all, right over here, if you see where I'm looking, that's sort of like our starter farms and stuff. Uh, if y'all are hungry, uh, feel free to take what you need. Of course, the only caveat is we ask you... Replant. <laughs> you know. Free. Like if you, like if you um, like here's how you should get cows. Um, get the wheat and then replant the wheat and then use the wheat you got to um to go breed the cattle and then kill the cattle so that you can have food. Exactly. Very Basically, all we try to do is keep it to where we don't have like a desolate landscape. So, like, if yeah. you eat, pull potatoes to eat, replant a few. Uh, if you kill, like, 70 cattle, make sure that you, like, don't leave zero because that would suck <laughs> for everyone else. Uh, it's yeah. really pretty simple stuff. And, again, like, uh, our biggest concern, you know, with, like, bringing people on was just, like, the 
TNT troll type people. I don't believe that's an issue with either of y'all, but if you want to prank somebody, just do, you know, like simple stuff. Don't like be like, ha, I blew up your base, loser, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because that sucks and no one wants to rebuild it, including the person that blows it up. So, uh, you know, just fun, <laughs> playful stuff is cool. And uh, in terms of the layouts, y'all are probably wondering where in the wide world you should live because it's all open. I couldn't tell you. If you want to reside in one of these little village houses, feel free. If you want to live in a cave somewhere, do it. Uh, if you want to live over there near the walkthrough king and I, feel free. Uh, you can live in the other mountain areas. Yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah, if you want to like, live that. in the forest, I mean, whatever you see that you think looks cool. The only thing we ask is, like, if you build somewhere, like... Try not to be like a zillion miles away because then you'll never be around to interact with, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, like, anything reasonable distance, you know, like you can get over there in like a couple of seconds is cool. So, and that way everybody will just have more fun. If you like join a server and then you never see anybody, it's kind of like, wow, this sucks. <laughs> it's uh, boring, basically. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, before I let y'all go, uh, Julia's still around, so I have a gift for you. Uh, this was, there was supposed to be a lot more stuff, but right now, with that bad boy, she can go to sleep and make the mobs leave if she's ever solo. Uh, similarly, if she's ever, like, caving miles away and everyone else is up here farming, she won't be the evil person that keeps us all from sleeping. <laughs> so, that's like a common courtesy. I've got a spare bed uh, for... I'm a next here, so there you go. Now, okay, same you. thing for you. And I wish I had more to give you, but currently I don't really have jack unless y'all want like bones and string. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but uh, we actually don't even have the the chicken farm is sort of like just started. Same, I pushed two sheep into a hole. Uh, so there's obviously we didn't want to like do everything here. And then bring people on, and then y'all, like, not get to do anything basic or fun, you know? And so, yeah. you know, if Julia gets super into, like, redstone or something, and she wants to set up a shop here, sell it. Uh, just whatever y'all want to do, we will swing for it. And main thing, number one rule on the server is just have fun and, you know, like, if you're standing right here and a creeper blows up and you can't remember the pattern, just, like, kind of try to fill it, you know, hopefully. But, uh, yeah. Which, I was wondering, who put these doors here, and what's the purpose? I think Me, and, uh, the purpose is, um, so that if someone is trying to kill me, I can right-click, and now they're blocked out. Wasn't this gonna be, like, where you're gonna- But what if someone story? tries to kill you somewhere else on the server? Yeah, then, that's I, then I run over here, and <laughs> I open the door, and then I hide behind it. Where what could ever You went this way. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> now, okay. wasn't this going to be like your store location or something you think? Uh, I think I just randomly placed on oh. two doors. Kind of like the redstone <laughs> over there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, but like, uh, what I, we were kind of thinking, I don't know if y'all will agree or not, but we sort of lost the villagers. We'd like to bring them back at some point so we can kind of trade and then just like keep them from dying, hopefully. But uh, sort of like these vacant spots, like, you know, if Julia wants to sell redstone and, you know, Aminex wants to sell sugarcane or, I mean, whatever it might be. Potions. Why I mean, would you know. anyone sell sugarcane? Well, have you noticed how much of it I plant? <laughs> And that's another thing. Any if, key tip here for mind logics probably doesn't apply anywhere else. If either of you ever gets lost and no one is online and you don't have coordinates or something, anytime you start to see a massive pile of sugar cane, that means I have been there, <laughs> and that you are probably near safety. So if you're ever running around and you see massive sugar cane, just know that if you stay put, uh, when someone's back on or something, we will be able to help you. So, uh, y'all have any questions or anything like that? Mm. Ah. <laughs> Do you like my parkour area? Yeah. <laughs> Which I just made. For yeah. Reason. I think I can actually complete that one. <laughs> there goes Mr. <laughs> Fancy Pants showing off. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't try it. 
Oh, you, oh. You... oh, I tried to punch you off. Well, you did punch <laughs> me off, genius. <laughs> yeah. He thinks okay, so. but yeah, that's our uh, new members of Mind Logics, and like I said, there's a couple more, but they couldn't make it for the intro clip. Yeah, actually, interesting note: one of the other applicants is from Australia as well, so there's a chance. When Omnex gets on at a decent time that is not 7 in the morning Sunday, he could actually be on with someone else. <laughs> so, but yeah, me, the I don't actually know what time zone the others are in, but I do know that myself, TWK, and Julia are in the best time zone. So, uh, <laughs> well, that's a matter of opinion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, we do appreciate him getting up this early to kind of come in and do this. So. Uh, yeah. Where the other people are, I honestly, did. I have no clue. No one's emailed me or anything, and I had like a 20-minute headphone crisis, which gave them ample time. So, uh, if they show up and get on, we'll kind of introduce them solo as well. But uh, main thing here, Julia and Omnex get kind of showcased, so it works out well for them. And again, they were the first two to apply anyway. So. Okay. Well, I applied as soon as possible. As soon as I watched that video, you said, hey, we're taking applicants. Exactly. And see, we weren't pushing yep. it hard. We kind of tried to keep it low-key. And then that <laughs> way it's kind of like a deal where you sort of really had to watch the video to know what was going on. Because you only thought, did it in one or two episodes or something. Yeah. That we thought was like the mark of a true fan, you know? And so that's sort of what we were doing. So. But, uh... I am sorry about emailing you like crazy, Weezum. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no, that's cool. Because, I mean, you want people uh, to ask questions and be in the know. So. Yeah. I just feel bad. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna end my recording right here. So, <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, we have new members, basically. All righty. Yep. All right, but yeah, I will keep recording. Why? I don't know. But uh, we will work. Uh, Omnix, do you want a skin, too? Oh, yeah, that would be good. Yeah, so I will. I know. I think the Alex skin is like available from that. Isn't it in where you switch versions and stuff, dude? Like I'm asking you, the Walker well, King. Um, I asked him, and he said he didn't know. Oh. I think the only way you can. Or maybe not it's have your Mojang account, actually. Like, I know. I if, have. If you download a skin, I think you have to activate it through like your Mojang side of the deal. Yeah. Um, yeah. I did it once, but then I forgot how to do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually thinking and I'm going to This is a new account this. because I lost my login information for the other one. So, yeah, see, this I, is new. I should be able to help you because, like, I don't really like this skin. Like, I like this skin, but then on the side of my head, there's, like, those ram horn things that I hate. Why aren't you going to change it to the uh, skin you have in Minecraft Pocket Edition? Yeah, I think I'm going to go with, like, a wizard sorcerer type thing, because this was sort of like a blue knight, I thought. And then when I got it and I turned sideways, it's, like, got those demons on it or something. Yeah, I'm going to... Like it at all. I'm going to leave the call and do, like, an outro. And then I'll rejoin the call. Yeah, so I guess I will end my recording too, but I'll still be on. We'll help these two kind of if they have any questions on where to go get stuff, which it's pretty basic, like we said, we wanted it to be uh, simple, you know, for everyone, but I'll kind of move them around a bit. So, uh, big thanks again to uh, Julia and Omnex for getting on. She was the first person not to walk through King but myself to be on. Uh, he was the first applicant, she was the second applicant. We've got Australia and Alabama. Sounds like a pretty good combination to me. So we'll have links down below for them. Be sure to check out their channels or Twitter or whatever they want us to link. And uh, we will be seeing more of them in the not too distant future. So, as always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, let us know your thoughts. Feel free to welcome the new members. And we will catch you back for